As you can clearly see, fans have officially taken Battlefront 2 into their own hands. We have covered videos in the past where we talk about fans taking Battlefront 2 over with mods and what have you, but something has just happened with Battlefront 2 that is going to change the very future of the game from here on out. And it just goes to show that Battlefront 2 is just not done yet. Now, before we get into that good stuff though, as I do have some really cool stuff to showcase to you today, I do want to take a quick second out of this video to talk about the other thing that's going on with Battlefront 2 at the moment, and it's definitely not as positive. As some of you brought it up in the comments of my last video, and that is the 1 HP bug, saying, can you address it so something can get fixed, so that's what this is for. To bring this into the spotlight, so if anyone from EA, whether it be community managers, developers, whatever are watching, which there's a fair chance that there could be, this hacker and 1HP bug issue that is completely ruining the game right now, it needs to be fixed. End of story. Your game is literally ruined right now. And for those of you who don't know what this bug is, basically everyone goes down to 1HP and then they can't die. Like, that's it. You literally cannot die. Nobody else can die either. Everyone in the lobby is invincible. It's ridiculous. Now, the reason this is supposedly happening is because hacks that previous deadbeats have been using to try and actually get a kill in this game so they can impress their imaginary girlfriends have been staying on the servers even after that hacker has left the lobby and the game has ended. So basically, this will not get fixed unless DICE and EA actually acknowledge Battlefront 2's existence for five minutes and fix it. And they need to because the game is actually unplayable for a lot of people. Like, there is going to be new players coming to this game over Christmas and they're going to be met with this bug. And because DICE are apparently on Christmas break right now, it looks like we might have to wait until the new year, even though the bug has apparently been an issue for a while. And it seems people who can actually do something about this have been ducking the Battlefront community when it's been brought up. I don't know the ins and outs of that specifically, that's just what I've heard, but all I know is this needs to be fixed, end of story. But that's it, I wanted to keep it brief and not its own dedicated video as, like I said, it's not the main topic of this video, but something definitely had to be said in regards to this glitch because it's just ridiculous. But anyway, back to it, what you actually came here for. Battlefront 2. It's had a laundry list of requests by the fanbase for years and years, all the way back to when the game first came out. There have been wants by the community and most of them eventually came to the game, but definitely not all of them. But there is one big thing that never did and that is private matches. Something that DICE have just been getting bombarded with for years when it comes to this game, and for some reason, they just never did it. They never added private matches to Battlefront 2, which I still just cannot believe for a second that that is the reality that we live in. Well, fans have pretty much just gone all Thanos and said, fine, we'll do it ourselves. Now, this has been like a year in the making, and it goes a little bit beyond just, you know, another mod, as it was a one-man project for a long time from a developer known as Battle Dash, and there is now a whole team behind it, and they've been working really hard on it. And it's pretty awesome what they've managed to achieve. And the embargo has lifted today, so I can reveal some stuff to you guys. As I was kindly invited to playtest this with a bunch of content creators and modders, as they have gone and created their own private servers, and just absolutely ran with it. Now, to my understanding, the hacker bug affecting the game isn't affecting these private matches, as they're on their own server, which is good. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to jump in on some of these playtests with the other content creators and modders due to time zones because, you know, we do it a little different here in Australia. But they did provide a bunch of gameplay for me that I can showcase for you guys. Apologies if the quality isn't the same as my regular background gameplay. Now, these are full custom servers with modded multiplayer, which, you know, you could never do that previously because you just get banned. It was cosmetic mods or nothing when it comes to specifically multiplayer. But they have just ran with this and created something that is absolutely going to breathe new life into this game for a long time. Now, the elephant in the room here, yes, this is just for PC, unfortunately. We just aren't in a time where, you know, they can mod this kind of stuff on the consoles. And I've been saying this for a long time. Any future Battlefront 2 has, it's going to be on PC. And that is really where things are going. Because if nobody is going to make a Battlefront 3, this is going to be the game that people keep flooding to. So things like what these guys are doing with these custom servers are going to be the way this game progresses going forward. The Battlefront community is insanely loyal and huge, and this is the Star Wars game for them. So there will always be a player base here, regardless of what EA or Lucasfilm games do with any other Star Wars games, as long as there is no new Battlefront announced. As long as that doesn't happen, majority of the Star Wars fans are going to be playing this game. 
Now, just the idea that you can throw like 20 Grievouses into a lobby or 20 Anakins, hell, you can probably mod Younglings and one Anakin into this and have some fun if you really wanted to. Do 20v20 heroes, like you can just get creative with it. And the best part about it is you can do it in pure multiplayer, not against bots with the IQ of your standard Clone Wars is just a kid show type operator. Like the possibilities here are literally endless and I'm sure this is only really the beginning of things to come. Modders have been getting more and more ambitious since this game came to an end as they've been forced to innovate so I do expect even more innovation from them in the years to come and full credit to them because they are single-handedly keeping this game alive for so many people. I'd love in future to be able to host our own private servers that we can fill up on live stream with subscribers, you know, just you guys, like mod the hell out of it, have some fun and this does open up new pathways for unique video ideas for this channel as well, so comment below some stuff you'd like to see. So depending on how this develops and how accessible it becomes, we might just have some fun with it in the future. Now, I will throw the social links to as many of the guys behind this project in the description below. These guys deserve the support. Battlefront 2 was taken away from us in its prime, and Battlefront 3 isn't being made for the dumbest reasons ever. And this is a huge fan base that has left twiddling their thumbs. And these guys, they're the ones trying to keep the fun going for the players. So make sure you show them some love. So guys, that is about it for that. Just wanted to close the video out by pushing this hacks and glitch issue with Battlefront 2 at the moment. Again, EA, DICE, whoever, this needs to be fixed. The dodging the questions posed by people presenting this issue needs to stop. Something needs to be done. Your game is broken. The players have had enough. They've been screwed over enough. Please fix the game. But guys, let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comments below regarding the custom servers. I know a lot of you will probably be pretty gutted that this is just for PC and can't come to consoles. But like I said, for better or worse, this game's future is with the fans and it is on PC. So if you have the means, PC Battlefront 2 is going to be going off and you should definitely join in if you can. But that is going to do it for me today. Be sure to drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Have a good Christmas break. I'll probably be back for at least one more video before the new year. So I'll catch you all in the next one.